Vaishali Sigapa and welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics. And today's class we are going to talk about one of the concepts of microeconomics which is related to demand theory. There are four determinants of demand you have. In this question you have for four marks in the second chapter. So let me talk about this. So this exact topic which I am talking about it is related to demand theory. The demand will be influenced by few of the determinants. So which are the things that are going to influence demand? So many things are there which is going to influence demand. But most importantly we are going to consider in this particular chapter we, for your syllabus sake. We have considered only four things which is going to affect your demand. So the first one is definitely the price of that particular good. The second is income of the consumer. The third one, the price of related goods. The last one is taste and preferences. The four things which is going to influence the demand, the most importantly, these are four. The first one is, as I said, the price of the good. Second one, income of the consumer. And the third one, uh, price of the related goods. And the fourth one, taste and preferences. The price of that good, particular good, we have already discussed in the law of demand. So if you are going to read a topic of the first chapter and the second chapter, I have already briefed you the law of demand where whenever prices are going to increase, the demand will be decreasing. If prices come down, the particular good demand is going to increase. The Both the variables are moving in the opposite direction. So the relationship between the variables are negative. So I am already done with one of the determinant of the demand which is price of that particular good. The second determinant which is going to influence the income, so which is going to in, uh, sorry, influence the demand that is income. So in the next concept, in the next class I will be coming with the, the price of the related goods. But as of now we will stick to the second determinant of a de demand which is income. So we have our question here, what is the difference between the normal goods and the inferior goods? Please do explain. This is a four mark question as I said. So what is the difference between this? What is a normal good? What is the inferior good? So let's talk about first of all normal goods. What is the normal good means? To talk about normal good and the inferior good, the one determinant what we are going to consider that is income. Income. Whose income here? It's my income, yeah, your income, it's a consumer income. So the consumer income matters to consider normal good and the inferior good. So how you can bring the equation? So the functional relationship, how you can express? Quantity demand is a function of income. So that means Y is the independent variable, quantity demand is the dependent variable, the functional relationship it can be positive or negative. So now let's talk about the first one, normal good now. What will be the relationship between this and what will be the relation for inferior goods? First of all, normal goods, the sign, the concepts, whatever you have, that's all about normal goods. Whenever change, the income is going to change. So anybody income you can say, income of the consumer, if you consider change, so in the change, two things are possible, one income is going to increase, another one is income is going to decrease. So first of all, I have taken a concept here, income is going to increase. If a consumer income is increasing, with that, few good consumption is also going to increase. Instead of 1 kg you are purchasing 2 kgs. In, uh, instead of buying half a liter, you will be buying one liter. So, your consumption quantity is going to increase whenever your income is going to increase. The simple logic says, if income is going to increase, the quantity demand is also going to increase. 
one case because your income got increased and you want to satisfy yourself by extra quantity of ghee. If your income decreases, instead of buying one kg of a ghee, so you will be buying half a kg. So these kind of a goods, when income increases, quantity demand is also going to increase. If income decreases, quantity demand is also going to decrease. The relationship between the variables, what you are seeing, it is definitely positive because both the variable together it is moving upward, otherwise downward. The relationship, the both the variables are moving in the same direction. So the relationship with the normal goods and income, it is definitely positive relationship. The relationship is positive. So you already understood the basic things, few of the things when income increases, the consumption of those goods definitely it is going to increase. So I have picked the bestest example, milk for an example, if my income is increasing 50 rupees to 100 rupees, so definitely I feel like I can, cons I can afford more of milk now, my consumption of milk is going to increase because by increasing the milk consumption definitely my satisfaction level is going to increase. So this way, whenever income increases, if the consumption of few goods is going to increase, if the income decreases, consumption of few goods is going to decrease, both the variables are moving in the same direction. So definitely that is a positive theory and that will be called as normal goods. The simple thing that will be called as normal goods. Instead of price, here we have considered income. Okay, the second determinant of a demand the demand which will be influenced by the second determinant is income. The first is price that we have already studied that is the law of demand in the previous classes. You have to see my previous classes to understand these all concepts. On the other side, you have inferior good. What is inferior good? To understand the inferior good, first let me talk about the relationship. The relationship between the inferior goods definitely it is a negative relationship. The relationship between the two variables, definitely the income, the relationship between income and the quantity demand, the relationship is negative. Why it is a negative? Because if income is going to increase, if income is going to increase, the quantity demand of the goods is going to decrease. Here, if income is going to increase, the quantity demand is going to decrease. My income is increasing, but if my income is increasing, these kind of a goods I don't want to buy anymore. In a further, my income is increasing, so my standard of level is increasing. So in a future, I don't want to buy these all goods. I want to raise my consumption to the bestest things. Instead of buying the same good extra quantity, he is shifting his uh, taste to some other good which is the best in a quality wise. On the second one, if income decreases, income is going to decrease, the consumption of these kind of goods will be increasing. Sometimes when income decreases, you cannot buy the costliest things because it is too costly, you cannot afford. Sometimes what you will do is, to satisfy yourself, you are going to buy the goods which is really very much cheaper. So income decreases, definitely the demand for those goods is going to increase. Which of these goods are? These goods are ragi and jor. For example now, just imagine my income increased, it was a 10,000 rupees. So in the 10,000 rupees, my home rent and electricity, other things definitely I have to invest more. So in that, the less the money, I can purchase only ragi and very less of rice and wheat. Because ragi is a cheaper compared to rice and wheat. So I am going to buy ragi and I am going to buy johar too because it is the cheapest one. So my lowest income, I will satisfy myself by buying more ragi and johar. So now, my income got increased. My income got increased. So automatically, I want to buy more of rice and wheat instead of ragi and johar. So, for this good, the quantity demand is going to come down. Whenever my income increases, I won't feel like eating and buying ragi and jor. So, what would I do is, I'll consume less. So, quantity demand is going to come down. 
in the vice versa if my income is coming down i do not have any option instead of buying this more quantity because my income is less i have to buy these goods only so definitely in this situation quantity demand is going to increase if my income is going to decrease for these kind of goods there's a very uh, few uh, couple of examples i have given so right now ragi johar we used to say that it's a poor people food so right now we cannot say that because because of a sugar and some of the chronic diseases everybody started having it so because of that definitely these days ragi and johar consumption is really increased but in typical manner ragi and johar it is purchased consumed demanded by only poor people why poor people because their income is less their income is less so ragi and johar demand will be more if income increases definitely they shift their demand to uh, wheat and rice because of that this quantity demand is going to decrease and the next topic here which is related to inferior good we have to talk about that is given goods what exactly given goods are the given goods are part of inferior goods so here instead of analyzing income we are going to talk about price if any of the goods which is a inferior good it can be ragi it can be johar the two inferior goods what we have which i have taken as example the inferior goods all of a sudden price got increased ragi price is also increasing johar price is also increasing if ragi and johar price increases automatically demand is also going to increase the price increases of inferior goods like millets any kind of ragi and uh, any kind of millets or johar if price increases we start feeling like oh my god this is such a costly thing so everybody will start buying it so if only in that case where price is going to increase only then quantity demand is going to increase if price decreases if price is going to decrease for ragi and johar also automatically again quantity demand is going to decrease in related with price this way any inferior good any inferior good it is acting positively with the price if price increases of any inferior good if quantity demand is also going to increase if price decreases quantity demand is also going to decrease so then those goods will be called as given goods but every inferior good it is not going to react for the price only few goods is going to react for the price so the things the quantity demand which is going to react for the price being inferior goods then it will be called as given goods okay so the it says all given goods are inferior goods any given goods here it is coming all given goods are inferior goods because the inferior goods price increases only then quantity demand is going to increase price decreases quantity demand is going to decrease so all inferior goods any inferior good if you going to take that is all are given goods only but so all given goods are definitely it is a inferior good but all inferior goods all inferior goods it cannot be given goods because few of the things it's going to respond for the price few of the things it is not going to respond for the price so if you are asking me why it is a given goods so definitely given is one of a economist name so he is the one who pictures this exact theory he was the one who introduced that so on his name the topic came like a given goods so i hope you understood what is the difference between the normal goods and the inferior good both how it's going to react for the income so this is a positive theory income increases consumption of these goods also going to increase then it's a normal good income increases consumption of these goods decreases income decreases consumption of these goods are going to increase so this is a positive theory this is a negative theory to the income the quantity sometime it will be positive and the negative so this is the exact relationship how we can explain with the help of income so thank you so much i'll be meeting you with the next class which is complementary goods and the substitute goods the difference between thank you so much.